Hey everybody, this is Rampane, and welcome back to a uh, install video that I wanted to release for you guys since it was requested quite a few times that you guys wanted to see how do you install the Warcraft Total War um, mod. Um, so all the main things that you're going to need from the, uh, at least, I usually download my mods through ModDB because uh, it's just a bit better inner user interface, I personally believe, than uh, Total War Center. But what you're gonna need, you're gonna need the main uh, War, uh, Warhammer, Warcraft Total War uh, file, the Medieval 2 Preferences file, the 4 GB patch. I have already um, extracted all of these um, so that they don't have to sit there. Like This took like 15 minutes to open. Um, where, here, I, this is empty for me due to the fact that I have actually already transferred it over. So I'm going to show you guys where I put that. So if I go to my local directory for Medieval 2, in the uh, I put it in mods, and I named it um, more, I, this is what I named it. This is the version that I just copied over, as you guys can see, like 20 minutes ago. Um, so all you need to do is extract, take what's in here, and just move it into your mods folder. Um, otherwise, besides that, you need to take this Medieval 2 preferences file, and you need to put that in the main Medieval 2 directory right here. Uh, mine's a little altered uh, due to the fact that I've made some changes since then, but I just needed to make sure I changed the volume, that's all. But it should be about the same as the one that you guys see um, in your own uh, Medieval 2 preferences. Uh, other than that, the only other thing you have to do is take this 4 gigabyte patch. Um, I'm not going to fully run through it, but what you do is you open it up, and then you select your Medieval 2 um, application or your EXE. Um, sometimes this might be uh, kingdoms.exe if you guys have the disk version. Um, and you'll select that, you'll activate the 4 gigabyte patch on that. I'm not going to run through it since I've already uh, done that today. Um, and then after all that's done, um, I personally like using the... It's the Med2 Mod Launcher. I know I've talked about this before, and this is the way I generally like to um, launch my mods. Hopefully this doesn't mess up. The, the first time I ran it, it, there was a little bit of a hiccup, but I know the game still runs pr properly, but it was just the first time loading it up kind of gave a hiccup. But I'm going to show that with all that done, you'll be able to launch the mod. And I will show that this is for sure the one that I just recently installed today because it does not have any of my saves um, for my current games. But once you guys are done with this, then you'll have access to the the base normal campaign I was playing as the Horde um, in my previous campaign, and then the kind of newer um, Frozen Throne version um, where it just changes up, where well, it, it goes into the timeline of the Frozen Throne expansion for Warcraft 3. So some of the uh, factions are changed around where they're at, um, or well, mainly the area around Lordaeron got fucked. And it adds in some more uh, factions. But as you guys can see, the game runs up perfectly fine. And now you can do normal Warcraft mod. This is the normal one that I was playing before, where I played as the Horde. Um, all of the uh, textures and all those things will be still be in, in effect. But then there's also this custom one. It's also still named Grand Campaign. But this is the uh, Frozen Throne version. This is the one that has the Forsaken and the Blood Elves in their area, and then the Lord Ron's a little bit just beat up. But yeah, that's about all you really need to get this mod working. Um, it's not a very uh, complicated install, but I'm hoping this helps you guys out um, if you're ever having troubles just installing mods. Honestly, I'll probably keep doing like mod installs that people keep asking me to because it's not it's not a bad idea. I, I don't mind doing it. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time.